We're here at Port City for the second annual Workho Manufacturing T-Town Midget Showdown, and it's practice night. We got a lot of drivers who aren't familiar with this track, but we have a few drivers who are very familiar with it, thanks to a lot of racing and a lot of winning in the 600cc micro sprint categories that race here all year long. We're gonna walk around the pits, check in with a few of those drivers, and find out what the secret to success is here. Jason McDougal, you're from Oklahoma. Yeah, Broken Arrow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you're very good here at Port City, aren't you? Uh, sometimes. Any day that ends in Y, usually. Wow, that that's confidence, kids. Confidence with a K. 30 feature wins here in a micro. Is that hard to do? Yeah. I mean, uh, I grew up with a lot of people in their, racing in their prime and stuff, and guys like Frank Flood and Chris Andrews. Uh, I didn't get to race much with Bella around here, but uh, guys like Tyler Thomas, Alex Sewell, and I mean, there's a, there's a lot I can keep naming that are big. What does it take to be good in a micro and a midget here at Port City? Be aggressive, but be smarter more than you are aggressive. Taylor Reimer, a native of Oklahoma, do you hate it when people call you an Oki? No. Okay, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think you would. Um, you're very good here in micro sprints. You have 30 feature wins to your credit. I know what you're going to say, but how are you so good at Port City? I think I have a lot of laps around this track, so I'm just super confident here, and I think it translates over with the midgets, and I have my new car, so just getting in good laps and hoping for the best this weekend. Now, obviously, there's a big difference between a micro sprint and a USAC midget. Not needing you to go through all the differences, but can you as a driver take anything from your experience, your laps, your wins in a micro and apply it to be quick in a midget? I think so. I think this track is very tedious. It's very hard. It's smaller. Like, I mean, anyone can go out there and run on a big track and be good, but it's the people who are good on these small tracks. You know, you have to have a lot of control over the car and you have to have good footwork and all that. What do you enjoy a lot about racing here at Port City? Because through your micro wins, through your success in the midget, what do you really dig about racing at this place? I think just to know, I mean, anytime you strap in a car here, you're racing against the best in whatever that class is, whether it be the midgets here with USAC or even the weekly points points races that with the micros i mean frank flood and you got guys that are traveling to come here because they know the best are here uh so yeah it's it still comes down to the same thing four wheels a motor you know steering wheel in your hand so you got to do your job and try not to disappoint my dad too much and <laughs> get my butt chewed out on the way home uh you know port city it's just uh you know it's so small and high banked and narrow it uh it really just uh, it produces good, hard, aggressive racing all the time, and uh, you know, just starting out here in micros, uh, you know, I learned a lot. You know, just with having to start at the back a lot with the point average format, and uh, you know, every week you're having to pass cars, and you know, it might be a one-lane track, or you know, you might be able to make something else work, but you know, it's it's always racy. You're going to be racing hard for first or fifteenth here, so it's uh, that's what's so cool about it.